doing today? It's your girl Kitty, and I'm back with another video. And in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to get all your playmaking badges in NBA 2K21. But before we get into this video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and you see all of my social medias at the bottom of the screen. So please make sure you follow me on all my social media, and please make sure you follow me on Twitch. I live stream NBA 2K21 on Twitch at it's kid underscore. Alright, so let's get right into this video. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have the proper badge set up for this method. Alright, so with your playmaking badges, you want to make sure you have Lob City Passer and Needle Threader. I do recommend getting those badges as high as you possibly can. Now, you can do this method without those badges, but if you have the badges equipped, you will be able to get your live passes off easier and a little bit more efficiently. So, Alright, so the next thing that you want to do is scroll down over to Options and down to Settings. And make sure that your game difficulty is set to Pro and your quarter length is like 5 or 6 minutes. We want these My Career games to go by very, very quickly so we can really capitalize on getting as many badge points as we quickly and possibly can. Alright, so after you get that set up, you are pretty much good to go. And so, let's go ahead and head right on over to My Career. So, once you get into My Career, you want to run to either the left or the right side hash mark. And you want to hold down L1 to call for a screen. Run your defender into the screen. And then once you're going towards the paint, hold L2. And then double tap triangle to throw the lob. Holding L2 before you throw the lob pass is very, very important because that will give you more points towards your lob assist in the end. Alright, so I'm showing you another example from the opposite side. And here's an example of me throwing the lob on a fast break. So once you're on fast breaks, you want to make sure you're running wide enough so your teammate has enough space towards the middle to catch the lob. Now, this is a very, very easy method, as you can see, but I'm going to be 100% honest with you. Of course, you are going to get turnovers here and there, but it is, it's okay because the turn up, turnovers do not penalize you. Now, here's an example of when you have to really know how to read the offense and the defense, okay? So, I'm calling for the screen right here, but my teammate doesn't really have good positioning and the defense is double teaming me right here. So, I'm going to dribble back out and reset. I call for the screen again. This time we're going to use Bobby Portis. And so Bobby Portis honestly has a way better angle for the lob. And that's why he was able to get it off. So that is a way that you can limit the amount of turnovers that you get. So this is a really, really easy method. It's just all about knowing when to throw the lob and when not to throw the lob. Like right here, I'm getting double teamed, so I pass back out, reset, call for the screen again, and boom, he has a wide open lob opportunity. Now, after every My Career game, you want to make sure you go to a team practice, and once you get to that level and point where you can pick which practice you want to do, you want to make sure you choose playmaking and one man, because one man gives you the highest badge points towards playmaking. And it's very, very easy to do. It's a fast break drill. All you do is get the rebound and dribble down and throw the ball to either one of your teammates. And if you throw it to them and they score, that's one point. If you take it all the way down and score it yourself, that's two points towards your total score. It is very easy to get three stars on this drill. Now, like I said before, this is a very, very easy method. And once you get the hang of it, and once you get more comfortable with throwing the lobs and things like that, then you can up the difficulty to either All-Star, Superstar, or even Hall of Fame. Because once you start playing on those harder difficulties, you do get more badge points towards your playmaking badges. Doing these team practices is very important towards getting enough badge points towards your playmaking badges. That's why you want to play on short, like, five-minute quarters in my career. So the quicker you get the game over with, the quicker you can go into your team practices. And your team practices are available after every my career game. So after every my career game, make sure you go to a team practice and work on your playmaking badges. 
And another thing that you want to keep in mind for, um, you get a certain amount of playmaking badge points depending on which pie chart that you made for your build. All right. So what I mean by that is if you say, for instance, you chose a pie chart that has a lot of playmaking or a pure playmaking pie chart, you will be able to get your playmaking badges a lot faster than a build that chose the pie chart that has, you know, all red or all green because you can get Hall of Fame playmaking badges. All right. So that's some things that you want to think about when you're doing this method, the type of pie chart that you chose. And as you can see at the end of this practice, I got another playmaking badge. Now in these clips right here, these are just more ways that I was able to utilize the pick and roll and the lobs to get as many assists as possible during my my career game to make sure I get a lot, a lot of badge points in the end. And that is pretty much all you have to do. So pay attention to these clips, look at some different ways, pay attention to the angles, learn the angles, learn how to read the offense and the defense to know when you should be throwing the lob, when you should throw just a regular pass, a flashy pass, because flashy passes also give you another more um, points towards your playmaking badges than a regular assist. So keep all of this stuff in mind once you're going for your playmaking badges, all right? But what is the key to this me method is knowing how to read the angle. You have to be able to determine if your teammate has a really good angle or really good look at the basket. And like I said earlier, this method is not going to be 100%. Not saying that you're going to get a lob off every time because you are playing up against computers. The defense does... You know, they do evolve and they learn and they either pick up or they sometimes they'll snatch the ball out of the air. But it's okay. You're going to get a few turnovers, but I promise you, you will still get a lot of playmaking badge points while doing this method. It is a very, very easy and fast way to get all of your playmaking badges. I guarantee you guys that. So please, please, please make sure you leave a like on this video, comment down below if this method worked for you, or if you're having some trouble with it, I will make sure to respond back to pretty much everyone so I can help you guys out.